Hey men, this is Mike Sound with another Men's Ministry Moment. Thank you for joining me as we look at insights, ideas, and information regarding ministry to men. Recently, I thought about the mentors that I have been in my life, how thankful I am of them, many of whom I did not realize were mentors until later in life. Men who have poured into my life that I have never said thank you. Thank you for sharing your life with me. My first mentor was my dad, a man I lost over 50 years ago to a heart attack, but a man who in 14 short years taught me the importance of integrity and love. He taught me how to fish, mow the yard, show respect, the importance to worship God and not forsake the gathering together of the saints. Then shortly after my dad's death, two men came into my life who, through their respective ministry, led me to a relationship with Jesus. Both men were very instrumental in my early development as a follower of Christ. Then there was a professor at Wingate College and another pastor and many other men I have met over the years. The point is, many men come into our lives that have been our mentors. Many we probably didn't even recognize as mentors. Mentors can affect our lives in many ways. They can instill solid biblical standards in our lives, or they can instill unbiblical standards. They can influence you for the good or for the bad. They can teach you how to love or how to hate. They can teach you how to be a good husband, dad, friend, employee, employer, a follower of Jesus Christ. So mentors are very important in our lives. Jesus demonstrated what it means to be a mentor. He selected 12 men that he poured his life into for three years. He was teaching them the character and attitude of God and how they were to treat other people. Paul mentored Timothy through the letters he wrote to Timothy in the New Testament, teaching him how to pastor the church. In his second letter to Timothy, Paul instructed Timothy, What you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. He encouraged Timothy to mentor other people. In his first letter to the Thessalonians, Paul's right, Be infectious desires of you, we were ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. Paul shared the importance for us to be able to share with others. The importance, the scriptures reiterate the importance of having a mentor in our lives, one who can impart the word of God and help us to grow spiritually. So I ask you these questions. Who is your mentor? Who is spending one-on-one -on -one time with you to speak the word in your life and helping you to walk through life's issues so you can grow in Christ? So you can be that shining light on the hill for all the world to see. I pray that if you do not have a mentor, you will seek one. Pray asking God to send you the one who can speak into your life. This is Mike Salen. Join me next time on another Men's Ministry Moment. God bless.